which is pretty scary considering um, we need information to make informed decisions. So when we simply don't possess the information or that the information that's given to us is faulty or strewn along in a way that makes something sound better than it is um, because these companies have their own special interests or we're too discouraged to read the news for whatever reason, um, we can't really make informed decisions. So now that you understand how media and censorship creates ignorance, um, let's envision a world where you felt comfortable making informed decisions. Um, laws are being passed and you were aware of it prior to it happening. Um, maybe it was the law ensuring that every child had at least one hot meal a day, or the law that stopped big insurance companies from overcharging senior citizens for useless policies that don't cover pre-existing conditions or the medications that go along with that. Wouldn't that really make you feel good to be able to do something about it? Um, so I'll be honest, reading through an uncensored newspaper or watching an uncensored news program would probably take some getting used to. Um, the real, real world is pretty graphic. Uh, we're used to, in America, we live in a pretty censored society aside from like X-rated movies and whatnot. But yeah, it would be pretty graphic and it's real world things that happen every day. So it would take a little while to get used to that. But maybe, just maybe, <laughs> If we saw how bad our world really was, it might spark the fire under our asses to get up and do something about it. Um, perhaps people wouldn't waste so much time on social media being offended because they would live every day knowing what true offensiveness is and that's how our government is running our country. Um, the road to fixing these problems, it's not going to be easy and it'll be long. It's not going to be convenient in a society that just, I mean, is built on convenience anymore. It is possible though, but we just need to band together and really put in work. First, we need to demand the reform of the FCC. We'd also need to vote in a law that mandates all media outlets must display who they are funded or who owns them, um, who are they, they are funded by or who owns them. We also need to amend censorship laws, um, clarifying that only things putting our nation in direct imminent danger are allowed to be censored. Second, we would have to limit or eliminate government altogether um, in the media, any of their involvement. We'd have to overturn government regulations regarding that and break apart, break apart big corporate conglomerates, um, which would essentially ban monopolies this part might be pretty tricky because, I mean, that's taking on the government, but I think that if we all stood up, we could really do something about it. I mean, it could work, but it, we'd have to stand up as a nation. And last, we would need to empower our communities. Um, we would want them to create honest and diverse and really transparent media outlets. As William Birnbach said, all of us who professionally use the mass media are the shapers of society. We can vulgarize it, we can brutalize it, or we can help lift it onto a higher level. Who knows, maybe in our lifetime, we can see a positive change. But either way, let's do this for our babies and for future generations. Let's get out there and lift it together. Thank you.